Previously on Marlowe's Spliced Crazed Lab Mystery. What's the case? My husband went missing two days ago. Why, he works for Spliced Crazed Lab. If you ever want to see your husband alive again, bring his super secret files to the main offices here at Jeans Jeans by midnight. I'll pack my trusty thirty-eight special and rescue your husband, Sir Julius Orson Greenstreet, Esquire. You don't want to go in there. It's his old friend Andre. Andre was living in the streets, suffering from a torrid addiction to investing in eco-friendly startups. Like so many before him, Andre had ended in the gutter, shaking with an old need for carbon reduction. I've heard about Jeans Jeans. People on the street, they say things. It's a scary place. Experiments, gene alteration, irresponsible energy consumption. You don't want to go in there, Marlow, man. You might not like what you find. Marlow shakes his hand away and passes through the door, walking into a dark, black lobby, populated with dark leather chairs. He hears a knock on the glass. He turns around and looks back at Andre. Good luck, he sees Andre mouth before Andre sneaks away, dropping into the blackness. Marla walks into the center of the room. In the far corner, the doors to an elevator open. A very short man approaches, a man bald and albino white, wearing green glasses and an entirely purple outfit. Walking with a brown handmade wooden cane, he approaches Marlow very, very slowly, the sound of the cane resonating throughout the dark room. Finally, he reaches Marlow, the shaved head glistening in the little light that is inside this cavernous room. He smiles, a toothless grin. Hello, Mr. Marlow. Are you Sir Julius Orson Greenstreet, Esquire? I have the IP in exchange for your life. No, Marlow. Sir Julius, I'm afraid, couldn't be here. But I have a far more interesting prospect. (laughs) 